Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I changed my Lenovo A1000's touch digitizer. The touch works as you can see in some areas but at the point of fracture it fails to register the touch completely. Ok, I'll start this procedure by removing the back and popping off the battery. Then I'll use a standard Phillips head screwdriver to assist me in removing these screws. Next, I'll use a pry tool. Here I'm using a knife to pry off the back case. Then, after completely prying off all the clips in the back case can be removed very easily. It's easy to remove as nothing's really connected to the back case. As you can see, this is the motherboard of this phone. Everything is connected to this board. Next. I'll disconnect the display ribbon cable latch using a pry tool. Then I'll disconnect the front camera latch. Next, the touch digitizer latch. Then finally I'll remove the front camera latch. Now I'll use the screwdriver to remove the motherboard retaining screws. There are two screws holding the motherboard to the phone. Next, using the pry tool, I'll carefully pry off the ribbon cables of the motherboard. Then, the side switch caps are also removed. Because the side switches are soldered to the motherboard, I have to remove the side switch assembly from the body. I'll slice the glue using a knife, then remove it from the body. Next, I'll remove the motherboard and Flip over the motherboard to expose the antenna cable. Then I'll remove the antenna cable by the pry tool. Next, I'll remove the wires that leads to the speaker and microphone uh, from the sides and remove the speaker using the pry tool. Now, I'll flip over the phone and try to remove the screen. But first, I'll stick a piece of tape on the glass to prevent the shattered pieces from falling off and it provides structural integrity. After sticking together the old piece of tape, I'll flip over the phone and remove a tiny bit of grounding tape on top of this touch IC. Then by the microphone hole, I'll pry off the glass, the front digitizer and try to remove it. I will remove this piece of glass by slicing off the glue that's stuck on the top side of the panel. I'll remove it by slicing off the glue using a knife and then forcibly ripping the screen apart from the body. You also have to be really careful while removing the touch glass so as to not damage the LCD screen underneath it. Then I'll remove this small piece of earpiece cover that was stuck onto the piece of glass. Then I'll clean the earpiece cover. This is a replacement touch digitizer. Next I'll replace the grounding tape removed before to the new glass piece. As you can see this is the display underneath. Now we have to clean all the parameter of the display for the new glass to fully adhere. We will clean the residue by using alcohol. I'll wash off the, all the residue and clean it off using alcohol on the screen and give it a quick wipe down. Then we will remove the protective peel at the back of the touch replacement glass. Then we will align the glass and we will stick it. Before sticking it, we have to thread the hole through the hole in the body. Also remember to place the earpiece cover on the glass before you put it on the body. Also after sticking the piece of glass to the body, be sure to give all the sides a firm gentle pressing to make the glue fully adhere to the body. Now let's start to reassemble the phone. First we'll bend the piece off ribbon cable and put on the motherboard then we'll screw it to the body then we'll put on the camera then we will carefully thread the ribbon cable of the touch glass after placing the ribbon cable we'll close the latch 
then we will thread the display ribbon cable and close all the latches so the, the, the uh, speaker wire should be routed carefully to the body and then the speaker is affixed to the body after the speaker is fixed we will try to stick our side switch just back into there and we'll put the switch caps into the slot, slot as well after doing all that we will fix the back case onto the phone itself then we'll press all the sides for all the clips to clip to the body of the phone then we'll take all the screws and screw all the screws back into their respective holes you don't have to be really careful because all the screws are of the same size next we'll pop in the battery and close the phone back then we'll boot up the phone and as you can see the display still works really well we'll wait for the phone to boot up and keep in mind that this is an old phone and it's really slow so now as you can see it just booted up all the way now the touch works then we'll peel off the glass and then we'll test the touch using the number pad as you can see it it responds to touch really well and as you can see it registers all my touch so as you can see so this is a successful replacement of the touch panel in a Lenovo E1000 thank you for watching and if you really love to watch more of this content please subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching goodbye